Welcome back. This is OT Time on Plus TV Africa. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey has thrown his um, support behind the NSAS movement. In a series of events which occurred on the platform yesterday, he started by sharing information from Tech Cabal's website, which highlighted reasons why Nigerian youths are protesting. And then he shared the crowdfunded link um, for um, the protest, encouraging his followers to donate using Bitcoin. And finally, Twitter verified the NSAS feminist frontliners, that's at feminist underscore co, um, AFK Abudu, Adetola, and Mo. Mm. I have a problem with them exhibiting these people as our frontliners because... Um, it shouldn't be a frontliner, we don't, yeah. we don't want no face. We don't. That is the beginning of the problem that we... We, we're trying to avoid. The moment we have a face of somebody saying that I am the frontliner of the NSAS movement, it's easy to call you into a room and give you a Ghana must go and then this whole thing dies down. Mm. It's also easy for somebody to also allegedly claim that they gave you a, 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 a Ghana must go, which they never did in the first place. And it will be hard for us to um, um, refute that statement because we know that that is how it works in this country so we don't want no frontliner this war is mine is yours is yours and it's for every one of us nobody is leading me in this thing if i decide to go out there and put my life at risk tomorrow it's not because fk abudu told me to it's not today again eh? It's not today. Yeah, no, right? I said, no, I'm just you know, hypothetically okay. speaking. Okay. If I decide to go out right now, if I decide to step out of this table, right, how about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I decide to step out of this table right now and go out there and put my life at risk, it's not because you are my frontliner. It's not because anyone is my frontliner. Mm. It's because this is what I believe in. This is what I stand with and this is what I stand yeah, for. Yeah, but I don't... I don't there, there needs to be um, a, a, a limit to that ideology um, in terms of not having frontliners. At knows. the end of the day, you cannot protest your way to the results that we need to get. There'll still be some people. I mean, I was talking about somehow yesterday being crowded. 40,000 of us, or how many thousand of us, cannot go to the office and have a meeting and see where the IGP has gone. So, whatever. You're going to have to have frontliners. Okay, and I like the word frontliners because it doesn't say the face of the thing. If there was one face, like I keep mentioning how the Black Lives Matter had a, had a team and the team had a leader. There was a founders, in front to report the Black Lives Matter, you say, founder and coiner of the term, blah, blah, blah. You put a name and they put her, her organization and all that. We don't really have that for the protest. And just because this group of feminists who have been engaging since day one, effectively, um, with mm. the protest, get verification does not necessarily make them the frontliners. Yeah. These same names are not part of the Zoom link that we had with the billionaires. Oh, this same name actually. was not, not all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. But one of them. Two of them, actually. What I'm saying is that not all of them. Even the meeting that was called that Corey um, um, had that was super effective. They were not all in that meeting. You can say he's also a face. You can say that Davido was a face because they gave him a panel. You can say that Dice Alice was a face because he, he started the, the, um, the thing in Canada. You can give a lot of names to a lot of influential hmm. people. And Which just because... Face, just be, exactly. Mm. And just because... <laughs> the um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But just because Jack has decided to put the most effective groups... The um, um, Twitter accounts that have mm -hmm. really helped gather people, gather protests, gather numbers, gather money together and said, okay, this is a verified source that you can go to on Twitter. Does I, not mean I, that we have for me, charged yeah. them. Should we now give I you totally what about the picture of the lady that? Sorry, but I think Aisha um, Yesufu? Yes, yeah, she, she if you even tell oh, me. Oh, so you have a problem no, with who is no, the no, 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 That's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that, look, you cannot say the people who have done the most or the people who they have protested. Nobody's protest has been more effective. Without, I absolutely disagree. Without, um, come to social so media platforms. If we're talking without me and you standing sorry, behind can the I they have done it alone. This but can I come any, in though? Any plaque. I'm talking about yeah, digitally. Did you so campaign for the Jack, campaign? I, I don't think that his aim was to create any form yeah, of division yeah. or any form of frontliners. I, I strongly believe that, of course, he wanted to support the movement and he has done that in his own capacity. And maybe he felt, because there was a, a time where someone created an account um, making a parody of FK Abudu and mm. trying to get money off people and she had to go all the way to say, you know what, um, report this account, don't donate to this person, this is not me. Yeah. So they added an underscore in front of her yeah. name and created another one. Mm -hmm. So verifying her page would be able to help us control that mm. and ensure that whatever link that comes totally from her, understood. you know, and I also cannot take away the work that they have been doing totally, in terms of um, totally um, organizing the funds, in terms of, in terms of making sure 
people that need this need these funds are getting it as well. However, um, I did not like the conversations that came out of this verification because I do not think Jack did it because he wanted to he make them the frontliners. I think that no, he yeah. did it. I think that he did it because he saw their efforts in the yes. protest and he wanted them to be. I mean, if, we, if you read what verification is about, is to ensure that people cannot actually create a parody. Of and even if they account. do, they already know the people difference. know the difference yeah. and look, okay, yeah. this is a parody and this is the real one. And I think that's where he's coming from. But was he trying to make someone the bigger deal or? Frontline, I think that's what Twitter people are, people are doing. Going to milk it? And when it comes are to people front, also of course they milk? are, but exactly. when it comes to frontliners and co, there are so many people that you can say they've done so much. Mm. And even those, the 20 people that have lost their lives in this protest, I'm sorry to say, if it hurts anyone, I think they are my frontliners because they have given their Thank life you. for this cause, Thank right? You. And I think we also should find a way in this money that being you didn't hurt nobody you to just find said the a truth. way to also. Um, donate to their families, even if it's a million or two million, whatever that can come million from that. Been donated from um, the, from you know, the, um, give them. Government. Yeah, as well. So, um, whatever it is, we need to come together and understand what we are doing, why we are doing it, and when we need to also stop and, um, and give the government an ultimatum to say, um, we are going back into our houses and our jobs in I three months or six in... months. If we don't see yeah. any feasible change, mm. then we are back on the street. Well, so I, I don't know how that not, is going not, to happen. There's, there's, well, there's no problem with that, if you're so with you, what? You, you, because you're agreeing. I want to now understand you better. You're agreeing to everything that she's saying, but it's not what you were reiterating. Except I got you wrong because she, um, that obviously with the point that she's brought up that it's helping make the differences and they see other frontliners in her there opinion other, in fact, there other are frontliners there are more frontliners than, than them no, 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 I want to get a question exactly yeah. Yeah. So what, what, yeah. you, you agreeing to that why do you still have a problem with them verifying these people that they no did? it's not the verification no, have I have a problem with the word frontliner front Right, you but the Jack didn't use that word. No, he did not. He didn't. So you said yeah. you had a problem with Jack giving with this people... particular people being listed out exceptionally. Mm -hmm. There is no problem with the fact that they are recognized. They are okay. doing very well. Okay. But with the fact that we're being limited to a certain number, I mean, you cannot of people. verify the whole world now. You that went it's one not, day uh, and me, me that we are still not getting the whole point. Okay. We are still not getting the point. But 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 let's just move away from that real quick. And I just want to speak on the person who released um, the phone number and the uh, addresses of SARS officials and um, how to find them. And it's so... F <laughs> I wanted to use the <laughs> crazy word right now. But it's so funny that um, he had to use the face of V for vendetta because that's somebody who has vengeance against people, you know, mm. for not, you know, personal vendetta and stuff. So it's so funny that that is done and then we're giving you 72 hours of voice mm. switch and all of that. That's like, the face most people use when they want to be anonymous in, actually in, from the dark web to people that are just using their um, talents. Yes, now, to, because that's the face for revenge. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. That's the face for I mean, revenge. Really but but at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is that that's not what we need. We're not trying to get revenge. We're always trying to, all we're asking for is justice before they start thinking that this is a, a violent group or no, anything, no that's not what we're doing. The person that I would voice up again, which is what I've voiced <coughs> in tweets up, is the person that said we should show these people love. We should go and actually donate money to the police force and paint, paint their, their gate gates and feed them and show them love and treat them how they're supposed to be treated. I feel like that is a better way to even, you know, kill them with love is how they say it. Thank you. I feel like that would be a better way to mm -hmm. handle that than vengeance. Okay. Love rules. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on real quick before we invite our guest. Um, Forbes has released a list of richest women in America under 40, which includes Rihanna, Taylor Swift, Kylie Jenner, Lady Gaga, Kim Kardashian West, Beyonce, Serena Williams, among others. The 13 women list consists of women in entertainment, tech, skincare, and sports. I don't think we have enough rich women in the world mm. because... This in America. Well, in America, because <laughs> what's this girl doing there? What's her face? Kylie. Yeah. Like, yeah. you meant, we were talking about this in the car. What's your own with Kylie, she, she's, she's 20. She's we're talking... Are you telling me that, yeah, she's really talking about under 40. There's under 30. She so, like... Do you get the... She's still under 23. She's under 40. Is it no. not? No. The range. Think, there's a lot of lists for under 30s already. There are lists for under 25. So the, totally. the, the disparity And the lists for under 30s are still part of the under 40. So the list for it. under 40 will still have people under 30. No, what 30. she's saying, it's not like she's against Kylie. I think what she's saying is the fact that Kylie could still make, make under, under 40. 40. That means, means that, there's that there is a number problem. In, that, in that range because... It don't mean that we don't have enough rich people. It just means that there are some people that are richer rich than women. some people. 
uh, it's not like we don't have some rich women that we're talking about that's, it means that, that, that there's exactly not what i'm saying that it's not like there are no women in that same age bracket if there is they, why would 40. they not why would they not put them not i think that, that because, i think that's forbes thing uh, it's because they're not making uh, as much as kylie they're not doing then they're not research. as rich then that's yeah, what they're I'm not saying. as rich but they're rich I literally just started my conversation with like it seems that there's not enough rich people because why would you put um, someone that is a lot farther away from 40 when she's already been in 30? Clearly, there isn't enough women in the 30 space from 30 yeah. to 40 to, to make that correct, list. That That's look, what that means. Mm -hmm. There are people in that list that should actually make that list, okay. but they are not as rich as Kylie, no, so we cannot. Uh, put the them. point is there is a there is a age what's the word now? Not not age disparity. Now there's a. What's the word? Criteria. Now? No, there's a criteria in terms of the your number of millionaire mm. millionaire you have made. So we're mm. talking of dollars here, and I think it's between hundred million or thereabout. Mm. So we're saying we don't have enough women in that bracket. It's not like we're 40, saying they don't have money. Of course we have women. If you don't if you have like fifty million dollars, it's still money, yeah. But the bracket now we don't have enough women in that space for you to bring someone that is twenty one into an under oh, 40, forty list. Do you uh, get the point me, now? Personally, Shay. Well, congratulations Shay. to them. Thank of you. Course. Personally, me, I don't have a problem with it too. Because me, I it want, means that it's not I, I want to make on, at least, I know I cannot make under 40. I'm still under 40. But let's just say I cannot make under 30 again, right? I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm hoping that I can make I this why. under 40. Mm -hmm. And I don't want somebody to come out tomorrow and say, how can this 30 no, that would be year the case. old guy? No, no, that's not the case. That's, that's not the case. Because you are well, between 30 and 40. So, yes, yes under 40 list coming out. Yes. If I, I would care. like to know though if there is I mean I know that America is you know they always say that's where your dreams can come true so I would I would try to figure out why that is if we've, we're talking about even the tech department the mm. the finance department sports. or you know mm. sports and all of that that there isn't any woman and I'm saying 30 to 14 now mm -hmm. that mm. can fit that that can make that list yeah. that you have to bring people in who have already made the 30 and younger mm -hmm. which is why they've you made, made that under list. 25 they've made, they've made under 30 yes so it's not like and I said, no, that doesn't, that, that, it's not like I said, no, she didn't qualify to be there or that though. she wasn't, you know, she's not rich enough, she's not deserving, absolutely deserving. But to think that there's nobody else who is in that category is quite baffling and to me. And maybe because the, the, the clause self-made is also part of it. Ah, okay. okay. Self-made, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Tea time, we'll be right back with our studio guests after this break. <laughs> 